Blinky Bill is so special, but there's more to Blinky Bill than just the cartoon character, isn't there? Yes, he's he's completely transformed my life because, um, as you can hear, I love the power power of the word. Um, yeah. You know, the word can evoke, can persuade, sell, grow, heal, empower, encourage, and it can heal. And um, I learnt through Blinky that not only does he entertain uh, lots of people who are some of some of whom are watching. Um, he's taught Chinese students how to speak English, but uh, it's through my volunteering um, in Make a Wish. I've been a national patron and a volunteer for 28 years that I learned his healing power. So I, I rang a little girl, Alicia. She's five and she had cystic fibrosis. Right. I, said, um, I just met your mum and dad and, and they said that you love watching my show. Well, guess what? I'm watching you through the TV too. <laughs> and I know things have been really hard. But every day when you wake up, I want you to look at yourself in the mirror and you've got to whisper, I am extraordinary. Will you promise you'll do that? And she said, yep. And the next that's day... Just, that's just giving me shivers. Yeah, it's so special. I'll probably break down in the middle of this interview. But um, her mum emailed me the next day and said they went to the doctors for her regular checkup. Yeah. And the doctor said, what did you do? What did you change? I've never seen anything like this. Her lung function has increased dramatically. And her mother sheepishly said a koala, koala rang her. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and since then I've done thousands of phone calls, thousands of uh, recorded messages. I write letters on behalf of Blinky and I will do it at the drop of a hat. It is so precious and so meaningful for me. So I've rung our Make-A-Wish children, the ones who love the character. It has to, it has to be a relationship. Yeah. I've rung suicidal teenagers who don't want to take their life after Blinky has spoken to them. Wow. I'm jeering at the dance for Daniel Morecambe with, with, oh, wow. with lots of federal police that I rang a little boy who'd been sexually assaulted and um, I spoke to him for half an hour as Blinky Bill because he used to say, I just want to be a little boy again. Mm. And Blinky takes people back to the couch mm. when they were little, when mm. life was good and life was easy. And that's why he's such a touchstone for Australian people and for people in crisis. And I spoke to this little boy until I could hear he didn't feel dirty anymore. Yeah, right. And I was sharing that story the next day. I was doing that in South Australia at 10 o'clock at night. And the next day I was talking to a big film company up at Surfers and a lady uh, burst into tears and she came out afterwards and she said, um, my husband and I decided we weren't going to have any children. And she said, after hearing that story, I want to become a mum. And, uh, you know, so it just it just goes on and on and on. It is so, so beautiful. Um, I did a recorded message for a social worker once. Mm. And I did just saying, you know, if you're listening to this message, you must be really extraordinary, you know. And she was um, um, being beaten to a pulp one night by this really, really angry young teenager. He was kicking her. He was punching her in the head. In the head. She said, wait, 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 wait. Listen, listen to this. Listen to this. And she pulled out her phone and she played this message, which seemed so inappropriate yeah. in circumstances. And he jumped backwards and said, far out. Where did you get that? And immediately stopped being violent. Um, you know, it's it's lovely. I'm sometimes stopped in the street. People will hug you and I don't know who they are and they'll say, um, I was suicidal and you rang me when I was a teenager and I'm good now. It's and so, it's it's so me, good. It's, it's just, blinky. <laughs> yeah, but it's just little actions, right? It doesn't take you long to do a 30-second voice message or anything yeah. like that. But, you know, it's, it's a fact of being there for people. And I think yeah. right now as we're sitting here today, many of us in lockdown thinking about things, you know, it, it's even the small little things that you can take away from this discussion just to say, just connect with people, just yeah. find that meaning, find that purpose, be there for someone. Uh, mm -hmm. And Robin, congratulations on everything that you've achieved with Blinky and, and your career so far.